my experience with violent offenders is that they became violent because they felt overwhelmed by feelings of shame and humiliation. When I would ask them why they had assaulted somebody, for example, that it was because that person had disrespected me. And they used that term so often, they uh, abbreviated it into the slang term, he dissed me, uh, or dissed my mother or my girlfriend or whatever. And uh, I figured that any time uh, people use a word so often they abbreviate it, it tells you something about how central that is in their moral and emotional vocabulary. What is shame? Shame is the opposite of pride. If you think of pride as being self-love, shame is a lack of self-love. But children can't learn to love themselves, to have self-love, meaning pride, feelings of self-esteem, feelings of self-worth, feelings of self-respect, unless they've been given some love uh, from the parents who are raising them. The child who is unloved becomes incapable of loving himself, i.e. he is a shame-dominated personality who, um, whose life consists after that of a desperate attempt to gain some respect from others and some self-respect. What neglect does is it says to the child, you are not even worth being angry at. You're not even important enough for us to punish you. We're just gonna abandon you. We're gonna act as if you don't even exist. You are off the radar screen of the world. I mean, this is the most damaging single thing I think that a, a parent can do to a child. Um, it destroys self-esteem. There Clearly there's no love from the parent toward the child. The child's self-image becomes one of, I am unlovable, I am worthless. I am a throwaway child. 